Saturday the 7th of July. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's coming out, starting to branching. These are the Valentine, which I've already done. The Challengers are now coming through from their second stop. As you can see a few shoots there. Candy are filling out quite nicely. The Lottie I'm going through now, uh, selecting the brakes. And I'll show you that in a bit. And so the Dianes and the rest are, are coming through through well. This is uh, some of the palms, this is the Ronda. And what I should do with these now, um, as you can see they're sort of breaking away quite nicely. Same there, there. And uh, I won't go through and stop them all um, now. What I do is, as I see a bud, um, and there's one formed in there. All I'll do is look at the plant, see how many breaks there are, and then just remove that tip. That will send out another f at least f four shoots, maybe six. Um, from that shoot, and as I as the season gets on, I'll either take those lower down or higher up, depending on how many more breaks I want on that plant. At the moment, I'm taking them quite high, and probably given another um, ten days or so, um, I may not actually remove any and just let them start to flower and just bring them into a, a, a flush and either knock them back or uh, let them come through as long as I know that there's plenty coming. There's another bud there. And they're coming quite quickly now so I'm quite, you know, I'm in control of these plants rather than uh, me fighting to, to get enough breaks when I want to. But that's really going to thicken out that plant quite easily. And that one. So I'm, I'm expecting at least 40 breaks um, on a palm and then I'll adjust the side shooting according to how many breaks or how full the plant is. Now on the miniatures they all got double stops um, unlike the smalls upwards um, and they're just starting to shoot away now from that. This is Marston George. Um, I'm looking for about 13 to 14 shoots per plant and from a plant like this I should comfortably uh, get that and a few more. So in my mind I wouldn't want to see much less than that and I might sweat a little um, whether that's going to be there for the early shows but with this cold season and having to double stop them um, to get the numbers of breaks it's meant that the, the miniatures are, are probably the least advanced of the plants I've got a batch over there of Barbary Pip, um, they're all on single stops because I don't need that many breaks so they'll probably be my um, earliest miniature deck. The Lewis um, are pretty much in the same stage with just some pips showing in the, in the breaks and some with a few small breaks coming on them and the Suzanne the same. This is Mary's, um, <coughs> does tend to shoot quite quickly away from being stopped and we've got everything on the plants from small pips in the shoots to larger shoots um, on the stronger breaks and it's probably not all that far away uh, from producing a bud in the tips there so we knock them back but there's plenty of breaks there at a decent range and I would hope um, as far as miniature ball concerned from the 45 mirrors at these stages I should be um, flowering from these from early to quite late. Um, at the end of the plot here we've got the rest of the palms <coughs> and this is Willow's Violet 
Um, now these were early plants that have stopped at least twice. Um, most of these have been stopped three times and from that I'm happy just to let it go and we'll do the same with the Ronda as the buds form. We just pinch them out up until the point where we just let them let them go. Um, I'm not expecting too many uh, early buds on this because I've been quite clean when I've, I've stopped them three times quite into breaks that haven't got shoots. So they're a good bushy plant um, and there's only about 22 of those. It's a sort of third um, third choice really with the Ronda but, and the uh, Gertler but if either one of those doesn't have a good year then I've got a third one for, for the Griffiths. Um, and maybe the odd three vases of, of palms. And here's the Gertler, which are obviously a much smaller um, plant with a lot less shoots. Um, it's a much earlier flowering variety and it's um, a lot smaller, so we don't need so many flowers on this. And there's 45 of those as we're walking up the path so they should give me plenty of flower it tends to be quite reliable for me Gertler when I've actually plant, got Gertler instead of Willow's Violet as bird last year and there's the um, Dave's Choice again it's a bit of a mixed bunch on these um, struggle to get the plants but generally they're all okay and there's one or two um, like that that are well behind the others or a bit struggling but being realistic there's 50 plants there over the two beds um, I shouldn't really struggle for a vase with the odd plant not being at its top now selecting breaks um, it's quite early to start selecting them so we're the 7th of July but there's 850 plants in these beds and uh, it doesn't all happen in one day <laughs> so we need to uh, make a start on them and I tend to start on the, the varieties that are light, later flowering so I would have stopped them earlier um, the lot, certainly the larger ones that would have been grown on a single stop so we'd have a good range of breaks that we can select out from um, this is the Valentine now with the giants, um, they've all been grown on a single stop. And we look at this plant here. Um, I've already done this, unfortunately, and there would have been about six to eight breaks on this plant from the first stop. If you look in there, that would have been the first stop, and I'd wiped out the middle two um, buds. Now I'm only going to actually grow this two up, um, and we've got four, and I've left those there and possibly in a week or so's time I might take one more out and then not long before selecting buds or taking the shoots for, for flowering I'll take one more out and what I don't want to do is knock these plants about I don't want to have a bud that's, that's too early and only have two breaks on the plant so I've got no choice but to either have a flower before the shows or knock it down the stem and run it on a side bud don't really want to do that on giants, especially um, Valentine, which isn't the biggest of the giants. So I've left four as a, as a choice, and what I do is I, I work them my way down the plant. Um, I'm trying to show you in there. So this break here would have come from the top pair, and I spiral down this one from the next pair of leaves down. That one from the next pair of leaves down from that and that shoot from the lowest pair so we've got four shoots um, there's five pairs of leaves left on this plant the top two we've wiped out and one shoot from each pair down has been left on the plant it means you stagger the breaks equally around the plant so you haven't got flowers bashing into each other if you can help it and also of nature this will produce a bud first, then this one, then this one, then this one. And there may well be, certainly from this sort of situation, four or five days 
between them so from there to there maybe as much as um, at least two weeks difference um, certainly down to here so it gives us an option if these start budding too soon I can just take them out and leave the later ones if um, they haven't got buds or just about forming buds when I want them I can take the later ones out and leave the early now it would be stupid to make all the plants the same and as you can see there's I stopped them in slight variations and there's some plants that are not in, as advanced as this and others over there that are slightly in advance and when you're selecting these breaks you've got to bear in mind that in this bed there's 66 um, valentine I'm only growing them two up so that's 122 flowers now I don't want 122 flowers all at the same time so by staggering the plant um, individually and then staggering them from plant to plant it gives me um, options to be able to spread the flush so there's a more advanced plant um, across the bed I do want all 122 flowers out over the course of probably two weeks but I just don't want them all out on one show for one day so that's that's me with giants they're done and so in a week or so's time I'll go through and straighten them out again and probably take another break off this is a bed of Lottie that I'm doing um, now there's two types of plant here there's the one that was stopped probably a week ago and one that was stopped a little bit before that and that they're, they're in advance of each other this is the lesser plant the smaller plant and we've got some small breaks in the middle and we've got some larger breaks on the outside now I'm going to grow this five up and there's probably two four six eight nine breaks we've still got at least two and a half weeks before we want to shoot so on here I will tend to take the big ones out certainly that one at the back excuse the shaking which is still leaving us two four six in there and then I should just wipe out one from the middle because the top shoots tend to be earlier um, and that will leave us five there there's one still over here which I can open off that leaves us five um, sometimes I'll leave six and take one off later um, but I'm happy with that and we're looking we're expecting buds in those in about 20 days or 19 days time for the earlier shows and a bit later for the others um, so that's that that's the easy one so here's one that was stopped a bit earlier now on a single stop we do get the, the privilege as long as the plants are soft enough that you get these strong shoots from the base low down now if I was to leave all of those um, that will flower or they produce buds well before I, I need them but as we go into the plant if we look into here there's some smaller shoots in the inner centres and they're only really a pair of leaves and a tip so I'm just going to strip this out um, I can't do it too with one hand and, and really we're taking the plant backwards in, in um, time so that we're not having to knock the plant about or knock the buds back too much ok so that's that done so we've got three younger shoots in the centre and then we've left a couple of the others on there so that gives us the, the five shoots now I'm quite expecting that a shoot like that at this time of the year I'm going to have to knock back um, it will be producing buds before I really want it to but at least I've got the choice I would imagine these centre ones will flower naturally and the outside ones um, beforehand that's what we've took out so we've took out some fairly um, substantial shoots from that and it, the, there is a tendency to look at the plant and think oh they're lovely strong shoots we'll leave those um, but if you do that's going to have a bud in it before you want it to and you're going to end up knocking it back and running it on a side shoot which invariably will be weaker than running it naturally from a, a small shoot we took some of the smaller, couple of the smaller shoots out just to spread the plant and save plenty of big ones now that's one two three four five six seven 
out of there. Um, and I'd rather not leave those seven on there draining the, or taking the food value from the plants. So now everything that comes from that root that was supplying seven plus five, so that's 12. <laughs> Bad maths there. So what was supplying 12 shoots is now only supplying five. So although it looks a bit beaten up and these brakes might be a little bit thin, they will soon catch up and soon fill out. Um, so everything now is going to the five brakes that I'm, in, I'm intending to flower. So that's those done. Um, same principle on all the others. The double stopped ones, we tend to let think they're going to come naturally. So as soon as I can get my fingers in there, I will start taking them out down to numbers. Um, and it'll be the same for the challenger. Briefly, so it's still the seventh. Here's the challenger. Um, now I don't want to knock these about at all. I don't want to be playing with the bud. So I want them to grow from this to flower without touching them. So we're taking a bit of a risk that these little shoots here will um, develop flowers at the right time. They may not be there for the very early shows, but I'm not really worried. I don't need them. I've got other options. It's more important that they flower naturally in the show period that I want them to. So that I would actually start um, removing down and take it down to four bud, uh, four shoots. And this is a, a plant that's been done. So of the shoots that we double stopped, we've got one there. There's another one there. I've left two on that stem because it was a very strong underground stem that's come. And then we've got the third one on here. So there's only one on that shoot. And the fourth there, again, only one on that shoot. So that's the challenges done. Um, I've got the others to go through. But from that, I will let these naturally come through to flower. And uh, on that, I'll, you know, it's not the slowest to bud, so I would expect to be seeing buds, um, certainly on a shoot like that for the bank holiday shows, and maybe smaller shoots like this, and the less will be national onwards. So they look a little bit hard and beaten up, I suppose, from it. But from now, um, the feeds is going in. We've now switched on to the balance feed, um, and they're getting the gallon of plant pretty much a week. Um, they're going to really come away from this nice and strong. Just on maintenance, um, we're looking at the wind home here, so they're ready to be debranched. Um, Wednesday, which was a couple of three days ago, um, I made the point of just going through and spraying the whole plot uh, with bug clear at double strength, so the plants were sprayed against the earwigs. It's just the early stages of those appearing now. And I went through every cane um, with paraffin and just put paraffin down the tops of the canes and killed those in there. There's not a great problem with them yet, but I tend to think if you can take them out in the early stages, there's a few less to breed um, and a few less to deal with later. And while we've got time on our hands, um, because really from now on it's going to be busy. By the time we've selected all the shoots, we'll then be tying them up and moving on, knocking back, and, and before we know it, it'll be showtime. So when you get time, do the maintenance, do the pest control, um, and keep on top of them. There's the uh, oak wood, and we've got a nice variation again on there, from just pips coming on the side, shoot, small shoots, to others that are a little bit more developed, and I'd expect those to come through quite naturally now, to flower. Um, and again, we've got a good range of, of small and large plants, intentionally because again there's 66 plants there or 67 I don't want them all at the same time I expect to be cutting these from these for a three week period for all the shows um, and in contrast behind um, there is at Ruskin Myra which has been double stopped and a little bit quicker to bud um, and I'll, I'll be looking for probably about 16-18 flowers to the plant on that opposed to um, the oak wood, where I'm looking for um, seven to eight, probably eight. Um, tend to start eight, and then if I need to, I, I can knock one off later. So probably I'll film again in about a week's time, and I'm sure a lot of this um, will have come on even more. Clouds are coming over. Looks like we're in for another belt of rain. We've had plenty of that, and not a lot of sun, but. I'm pleased I've only single stopped the bigger stuff because uh, 
stuff is growing a bit slower um, and where it would normally be far too in advance um, in a normal year it's it's chasing along the right sort of lines and I'm pretty happy with that so see you next week, ta da